Cheryl Lee, that radio chick. I hope I can remember where that coffee machine is. You're on Raised on Rock Radio. Welcome to Australian Classic, where we'll visit a classic Australian album each episode. Some you'll know and love, and some hopefully will surprise you. Last episode, we revisited an absolute classic. Daryl Cotton, Jim Keys, and Russell Morris, aka Cotton Keys and Morris, live at the basement in Sydney. I was interviewing Chris Cheney from The Living End earlier this week and he reminded me about this fabulous album that he made with Jimmy Barnes and Slim Jim Phantom of the Stray Cats called Barnstormers. And it is so much fun. Let's hear the first single from it, Johnny's Gone, written by my favourite songwriter of all time, Cold Jizzle's Don Walker. Between headlights, Johnny's Gone, Johnny's I asked Chris Cheney from The Living End how it all worked out when he met his idols from the Stray Cats, and this is what he had to say. Well, luckily, it's worked out great. You know, it's almost like you can call them friends. I was actually just messaging Slim Jim, the drummer, before because we did a record with Jimmy Barnes last year called Barnstormers, and so we were just talking about, man, when are we going to do some shows together? That record turned out better than any of us could have hoped, I think. We were all really surprised because we always wanted to do that album. Jimmy and I had spoken about it for years. He'd been talking about it with Slim Jim for years. Kevin Shirley, who produced it and just produced our new record, he had the contact with Jules Holland, so he brought him in and Every track that was coming back after it was mixed, we'd be like, man, this is sounding really, really good. And it was important for us because being fans of that style of music, you don't want to stuff it up. It can't sound like a Kmart version of Rockabilly. It had to sound authentic and had to really kick where it needed to. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Being obviously an Adelaide girl, you have to be a Cold Chisel fan and you have to be a Jimmy fan. So win, 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 win. Yeah, it's a great album. And I look forward to hearing some more music from the Barnstormers. Yeah, well, fingers crossed we get up on stage at some point too. So that, that is the plan. It's just a matter of trying to figure out the right vehicle to do it. It has to be like a festival or something in order for them. We do some shows around that. You are listening to Australian Classic with that radio chick Cheryl Lee on Raised on Rock Radio. A cover of a Johnny O'Keefe hit is the second single released from the Barnstormers album. Mary Vivaris from The Music said the joyful rock and roll cover is perfect for the Barnstormers. Every band member has a bit of rockabilly in them and their take on Real Wild Child solidifies the passion behind this project. Welcome back. We're talking all things Barnstormers, released in 2023 on the Bloodlines label. It contains 11 toad tappin tracks and it reached number three on the Australian album's ARIA chart. It contains a wonderful cover of the Roy Orbison song, Working for the Man, and this one, co-written by Cold Chisel band mates Don Walker and Jimmy Barnes, Land of Hope and Glory. Look east, look west, look sharp, look best. A big car, a big book, a big ass, a big lick. I couldn't find this one at the usual streaming places. Unless they're hiding it really well, you may only be able to get it on vinyl, which of course I have, and CD from JB and Sanity, etc. And I actually found one selling for as much as $179 on eBay. So if you've got one already, it might be a collector's item. Let's go out with the last song on the album, 25 to Life, written by Chris Cheney from The Living End. One margarita. I turned into two When I turned around I could have sworn that I saw you I 
Oh, San I am off to Monday, Monday. Between now and when I catch you next time, shall I call it? Do you reckon Jimmy Barnes is going to rock up unannounced and join the living end on stage? Or do you think I'm just wishful thinking? I'll tell you next time. Thank you for joining me. See you next time on Australian Classic. But for now, let's see if I can find that coffee machine. If you'd like to see more of that Radio Chick stuff, you can go to the Facebook page, That Radio Chick dash Cheryl Lee, or check out the website, thatradiochick.com.au. If you've just tuned in, you've just missed Australian Classic with That Radio Chick, Cheryl Lee.